Today, we're gonna to show you all the differences between vibrance and saturation in Photoshop and when to use each tool. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Ace and today we got a big tutorial for you. This is a question we get all the time. What's the difference between vibrance and saturation? Basically, they're two different ways of increasing the amount of color in your images. Vibrance is generally used for pictures with people in them because it's going to protect their skin tones. Saturation is when you want to increase all of the colors in your image or choose specific colors to enhance. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use all of these tools. So we're starting off with an image. We got a person and we have some background colors. Now keep in mind, vibrance is better with people. Saturation is good when you don't even have people in the image. So let's go ahead and grab both of those filters. We're gonna start off with vibrance. So we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and we're gonna go over to vibrance and let's hit okay. Now you can see in our vibrance adjustment layer, we have a vibrance slider, but we also have a saturation slider. So let's go ahead and check both of these out. If I take my vibrance, we're gonna just click and simply drag this all the way to the right hand side. You can see the image still looks fairly natural. These greens are definitely much more green. We have some nice color in our suit, but our subject, their face looks pretty good. Let's go ahead back to our layers here. We're just gonna turn this off and on and see that before and after. Still pretty good. Our subject is looking good. Now, what we're gonna do, let's turn this off again. We're gonna make another one of these layers. So let's go to layer. We're gonna go down to new adjustment layer and we're gonna go to vibrance again. And this time we're just gonna use saturation. This way I'm gonna show you both. You can see a really quick before and after. So this time saturation, we're gonna crank that all the way up to 100. And you can see, yes, we have a lot of color in the plants and with our jacket, but look at the face. People are gonna be way too saturated. So here we have this vibrance on the top. This is using saturation. Okay, and this one is using just vibrance. So you see we have a much more natural image with vibrance. So if you wanna keep it real simple, and if you just wanna overall increase the colors in your image while protecting skin tones, vibrance is the way to go. Now there is another way to adjust saturation with a lot more control, and that's called a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's show you how that works because it's cool. You can actually target individual colors and adjust those. So we're gonna to go to layer, we're gonna go down to new adjustment layer, and we're gonna to go to hue slash saturation. There we go. Now in this hue saturation, you can see there's a lot more you can do. You can definitely just take your saturation and just drag this all the way to the right, and that's literally pretty much the same thing as dragging the saturation to the right in the vibrant slider. But what I like about this tool, and it was just redesigned here in 2025, is you can choose specific colors. Like I can grab this green color here, for instance, and then when I have that green color active, I can then use this eyedropper and choose specific green. So I'm gonna like really dial in this green. I wanna say, I wanna adjust just these greens, and then I can adjust the saturation of the greens and it's gonna leave everything else alone. I could even adjust the hue of those greens. If I wanted to make like more of a fall color, I could do that we could make it even more vibrant as well. So this is a great way if you wanna target specific colors. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and grab this teal color. It actually really doesn't matter which color you pick because as long as you go to this eyedropper, that's what lets you dial it in. So I'm gonna click on this teal color because it's kind of close. We're gonna go ahead and click on this suit. And when I do, you can see it automatically changes whatever you color you click on to the color of the eyedropper. Like if I clicked here, you're gonna see it would change back to green click here, it's gonna to change to teal, click here, it's gonna to change to the skin tone. So as long as you have one of these colors selected and then you go to the eyedropper, you can simply select the color you wanna edit. So now we've already edited our greens, remember, with the foliage in the background and you can see this little icon letting you know that's been adjusted. And now we're about to edit the color of our subject's clothing. So here, if I wanted to, I could go in and change my hue. I could bring this to the right or the left and I could say, you know what? I want that to kind of match the greens in the background just a little bit, just by bringing that to the left and the right. And then I can simply go in and adjust my vibrance here and I can really get that to match super, super well and bring all those colors together. Now, the nice thing about this hue saturation adjustment layer is that 
I didn't affect my subject's skin tone at all. They are completely how they were originally. So I can simply turn this layer off and on, and you can see we affected the background a little bit, and we affected the color of our subject's clothing. That works incredibly, incredibly well. So again, this is our vibrant slider, which we just turned on by default, just bringing overall vibrance into the image. This is the vibrance where we just cranked up the saturation. You can see not the best results. And here's the hue saturation where we actually dialed in specific colors. The cool thing is I'm gonna use things in conjunction because this vibrance layer I can turn on Overall, we brought up the vibrance of our whole image, making it look good, and then we added a hue saturation adjustment layer, and then we really dialed in those colors. So in my opinion, that's the way to go. Go ahead and grab that vibrance slider, bring it up to the right. People are still gonna look good in their skin tones. Then get a hue saturation adjustment layer, fine tune those colors, and you're gonna get stunning images every time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the before and the after. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and let me know in a comment down below what you would like to learn next. I love making these videos for you. And if you wanna get even more advanced Photoshop knowledge, check out Flurn Pro. We've got over 10 years of in-depth master classes available for you. Just click on the link right down below to learn more. Thanks again, and I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.